Hey there guys, and welcome to Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. I am super excited for this. I've tried to make these before, and I didn't really like how it came out. It was, it was bad, really bad, but now I think we can do this. This is my lovely Sim. Uh, before this is uh, uploaded, you are going to see a creative Sim on her. And if not, it's going to be right after this episode. So this is Tasha Weldon. Uh, I really like Tasha a lot. She it's like the, the pear-shaped body. She is mixed. And she has like super, super pink blush on. Which I don't know, but I, I like it on her. I might be crazy. But I like this on her, and then my all-time favorite lip that I use all the time is right here. Same with the eyeshadow. I love the eyeshadow. And I use those eyebrows all the time. And I love this dress. It's very revealing, but it's super, super, super cute. And then I gave her some leggings. Well, no, those aren't leggings. Those are tights. And then I put socks and then boots, which might be a weird combination, but I like it. And then I gave her some fake not f fake. I gave her some nails. And then I just moved her out here on an empty lot. So that is all I've done with that, you guys. And I will lay down the basic rules. So the basic rules of the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge is your objective for this challenge is to give birth to 100 children in as few generations as possible. The challenge ends as soon as the 100th child is born, or if you f fail the challenge or break the rules. I think, I read through the rules earlier, I think the only rule I would possibly break is, um, let me see if I can find it, I'm looking at the rules right now, is the mods or cc that let you have more sims in the household maybe i don't know i i kind of have one but it's new and i don't know if it's gonna work so i'll test it out when the time comes when we have more than seven kids in the house so yeah so right now, I think I'm going to try and build a little home for Miss Tasha. So I will be right back and you will see me speed build the house.
Okay, so I built a house and I completely forgot about the upstairs outside. So, yeah. So, I basically didn't do much in the upstairs. The only room I basically painted was the bathroom and uh, the half bath. And then there's a full bath in here. Upstairs is basically going to be like where the kids are. And I will upgrade everything like that. And then here's the main level, like dining room, living room area, um, a little like book nook. Well, not book nook. It's like a little, not a foyer, like a mudroom kind of. And then a kitchen over here. And then I was thinking later I was going to put like a... Uh, uh, islands right here and then like the counter is gonna like face over here so then there's little stools right here for everyone to sit and then there's like a little table over here so there's room and when we get money I'll expand and everything and then down in the basement is where she's gonna live uh, I will probably throw a bathroom down here too so eventually there's gonna be three bath well two and a half bathrooms and maybe when we expand, I'll make this a bigger bathroom, like stand it out here, out here, or maybe move it like back here or something. And I made the doors green because there's going to be some woodwork through this house, as you can see from the outside. And no, there are no windows yet, so we'll save up for those and everything. And I'm already going to put, um, no, let me, let me just click on the light. There we go. We're already going to do audio lights, all lights. There we go. Now it's all dark. And, oh, I'm going to make her room, like, really, really, really bright. I'm going to, like, keep a really bright theme, theme through the house. And s since down here she doesn't have any windows or anything, I'm going to keep really bright and stuff and but really cutesy and still make it look like a basement, kind of. <sighs> um, I believe in the baby challenge, you can also um, get jobs. So I'm just going to zoom in, bring down the walls, and have... Actually, wait, no. What am I doing? I'm going to have her find a job. Let me look at her traits though real quick. Traits are right here. Uh, she's family oriented, romantic, outgoing, and alluring. So that way it's easier for her to find guys. And by the way, I have the same sex mod in. I don't know if it's cheating or not, but I, I guess I won't let her go for females because that basically is cheating because you can't do that in real life. So I don't even know why I brought that up. So, hmm, what would be a good job for you? Let's see. Okay, astronaut, athletic, business, criminal, culinary, entertainer, painter, super agent, tech guru, and writer. Maybe business? That's $16 an hour. Ooh, a writer's 25 though. But a writer, there's, she's gonna like work all the time if she's a writer. But she's also gonna work all the time if she, uh, If she uh, does the business career, maybe she could be a tech guru. I don't usually have Sims be tech gurus. Why not? Uh, and eventually she might be like, I don't know, would she want to be a sport gamer or an entrepreneur? We'll see when we get there. And she won't work week. She won't work weekends, so that's good. Um, maybe we should already go out and 
find some guys. Let's see how much time do I have left? I have plenty of time, plenty of time. I'm just going to adjust my mic. Let's see, load up here. I really hope the white screens aren't showing when the Sims doesn't want to respond. I don't know why my game does this. I might have too much CC in it or something. By the way, I probably should like take all of it out and sort through it and then find out what I really, really like and then keep it and throw away all the stuff that I don't want that could be buggy. I make my game lag. And I have a feeling that OBS is making my game lag. Let me check that. Oh, it's not as I can see lagging. Oh, uh, I haven't like played with the um, in-game lots in forever. Since she's going to be a tech guru, let's take her to the library. I think the library would be good for her because then she can start like the programming skill and get a little ahead and stuff. Can I go to the library? Thank you. And then while she's there, she can just introduce herself to some guys. And if I'm not following any of the rules, I like read them like probably like almost an hour ago because you know I, I came in I talked to you guys and I was like oh just let me build her a house I'm really bad at building so you guys are probably like ew her house oh my gosh I am horrible my houses always seem to look like shoe boxes and I don't like shoe box homes I don't like like generic cookie cutter homes. I like homes that when you go down the street, you're like, oh, that's a cool house. That's like a modern type house. That's like, what, a hundred year old house right there. I oh, just set my hand in my phone because my phone's my timer. That really hurt. Ow. Waiting for the screen to load. <laughs> Come on, game. Telling stories is a great way to enjoy other Sims' company. Select a Sim and tell a group story under group activities. I will, game. I will. The ranger station is a good source for more camping information in addition to purchasing supplies. I already knew that, but thank you, game. Check back at different times of the day to see what insects come out. Can you catch insects? Because, oh my gosh, I would catch all of them. Complete, I hate bugs in real life, though. I hate them. Like, oh, I don't hate them. They're just attracted to me, and I'm not attracted to them, and they won't ever leave me alone. Just leave Brittany alone. <laughs> Shout out to you guys that know what video I'm talking about. Looking to bring gaming to the next level? Try searching for the motion gaming rig in build mode. Well, I'm looking to bring my gaming to the next level. Don't know about my Sims, but you know, <gasps> I forgot you can get cow plants. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get a cow plant. We're gonna get a cow plant. Sims, why are you taking so long to load? Oh my gosh, how to this loading screen? If there's any more long ones like this. I'm probably just gonna cut them out because this is ridiculous. I just wanna go to the library, work on my uh, skills for the computer because I'm gonna be a tech guru, possibly an entrepreneur, and 
you know, meet some guys where I can try for baby and then get my life and legacy started, you know. I want to come up for a bat. Oh my gosh, why is this taking so long? I'm like going to get no gameplay because of this loading screen, man. My timer is like running out, guys. This is not cool. This is not cool. Like, come on now. Come on. Just keep going. Just keep. Oh, finally, I hear the little chime. Don't be playing with my heartstrings. Don't be playing with my heartstrings. Game. 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 Load. Show me the library. I've never wanted to see a library so much. Come on. I don't care about voodoo. Thank you. We're at the library. Yes. Okay. Everyone's at the computers and there's a bear two Barry Sin guys. I don't know if I want our first baby to be Barry Sin. Well anyway we'll just do a funny introduction to both of them. And maybe we can kick Katrina off of this uh, computer. Will you let us do that, Katrina? No experience. Okay, there we go. Uh, practice some programming. Okay, so, oh wait, no, we, we don't need to do that. We need to play video games. Playing video games. Shh, timer, shh. I still got 10 minutes, don't know why you're going off. What are, oh, play games, play game. We will play Sims forever. Sims 1. Why am I talking like that? <laughs> Game, stop. Game, please. Please, game, please. I only got 10 minutes. Game. There we go. Did you introduce yourself? You have no relationship. Please talk to him. He's like right in front of your face. Caleb. Caleb. What is his last name? Yazi. Caleb Yazi. Digging it. Oh my gosh. Tasha. Talk to him. Caleb, stop being so focused and talk to me. Your fingers aren't even moving on the keyboard. Katrina. What are you doing? Stop it. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Just don't even talk to him. Go for the green guy. Go for the green guy. Just go for the green guy. Please, Tasha, please. Why is this being so difficult? Tasha, get up and walk over to the green guy. It's that simple, Tasha. Tasha. Tasha, you have wasted half the day. Tasha. Tasha, get your act together. You look super cute over there. But right now, we are trying to get some guys. And look, I guarantee you he's on like a dating, like what, like a dating profile thing. That's what you're doing, and there's a cute girl right in front of you. It's your loss. Please get up and talk to the other guy. 
You're killing me. Go, go, go. I'll be so proud of you if you just do this. Please. Please. Tasha, go over there. Tasha. Dear jeez. You know what, Tasha? Just stop. Go walk over here. I just can you at least walk over here? I'm I clicking the ground, nothing's happening yet. Oh my gosh. Ah, just go sit there, please. Just just do it. Do it. What really, Cornelius, you have rah. Okay, it's just they're talking, but she doesn't know anyone. And he's just on a dating sim, not sim, he's on a dating site when we're trying to talk to him and look at us in our Oreo-ness, our cute Oreo-ness. No offense to, no, just no offense. But, I mean, like, look how, look how hot we are. I'm done with you, Tasha. I'm so done with you. I am so done with you. Can I? Testing. Cheat. True. I am done with you. Reset. All right. Can you do a friendly introduction now to Yazi? Oh, look, Yazi moved. Can you do that, Tasha? Tasha, 10 steps, girl. Tasha, there. I've never been more proud. Yet really disgusted. <laughs> Finally, Tasha. Finally. And now it's still saying you know no one. There there he is. There's there's Kayla. Okay. I was I was gonna say, if Cornelius left if Cornelius left, we will do a funny introduction to him. Can someone get off the compute computer? <gasps> Wait, he did get off the computer. Wait, run over here. After you introduce yourself to Cornelius, run over here because we can just talk to them later. Game, are you lagging? Game, are you lagging because of my software? I'm taking that as a yes. Game. Can't even move. If I lose all of this, pro I, okay. <laughs> I'm on edge with this. <laughs> I'm having fun, but I'm just surprised at this game. Run over here and play games. Like, talk to them, please. Please. That way you can get money and you can put things in your house and actually support your children. Always talking about being uncommittal. Girl. Girl. Get your body over to that uh lap not laptop computer. Oh my gosh, my head's it's hurting my head. I've been wearing it too long. Maybe I should switch ears. All right, uh, we'll ask about your career. Oh my gosh, my game right now. Oh, it's all about funny story. I really hate that she's not going to the computer right now. Just, just screw the computer. You're you're done. <laughs> well, I'm done trying. Uh, la, 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 la. Why why does it take so long for me to click on Yazi? Well, those about family. 
And then we will... Come on. Hi, Glitz, honey. Come on, Yazzie. Come on, Yazzie. We'll do an impression. We will tell him a funny story. Can we kick, like, Cornelius out of this conversation? Oh man, I realize we can't much money off them. No. Can I ask them out on dates? Is that a thing? Can you just do that? <gasps> Travel with. Let's go to my house. Can we go to my house? Let's go to my house. In the middle of the street. She doesn't look very happy. Oh my god. Do you see that? <laughs> well, um, this part is about over. So I will just say right now, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully the second part runs more smoothly. Um, I hope you all enjoy. I hope there's not much lag. Uh, and uh, I guess we are, <laughs> look at our pathetic house, I guess we are just gonna, you know, be at home with our first victim. <laughs> okay, guys, see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.